Welcome back to Thanks 6 channel here on the Wormwood Modular Gaming Table. This is probably my like, I don't know, eight month review here of this table. Um, so I know a lot of people are getting pretty close to deciding if they are gonna pledge for the new table or not. Well, I figured I'd give uh, you my experience here before you make that uh, choice. But let's go over the table. All right, welcome back here. So just to show off something I have going on in the table right now is a beautiful game called My Father's Work. I actually have a uh, unboxing video on my channel of it. Fantastic game. Um, there is quite a bit of scenario things and stuff and, and that this game does actually take quite some time to play. There's like three generations and three rounds within each generation. So this could take us I'd say probably like, uh, I don't know, six, seven hours or something to play through the, the entire thing. Just kind of depends. And we're playing it with some neighbor friends of ours. So we put it here in the table because it makes it more manageable and possible for us to play this game without, you know, having a game table with a vault like this where it's already kind of set up and we could leave it. We could play it, but we'd have to have some area kind of dedicated to that or we'd have to have the pieces out, take the pictures, um, and basically box up the components, move it, and then um, bring it back each time. So this really helps us kind of just leave it out and be you know, ready to play it again. So if you're you know, big into board games, uh, that is definitely what is awesome about this table. Um, so this game is, you know, it's a bigger game, but it's not the biggest one I own. If you check out my videos on my Tenaris Adventures, it's a massive dungeon crawling uh, board game and uh, it fills the entire table with components and things. And, you know, for games like that, Frosthaven, um, what else? Forbidden Stars takes up quite a bit of room. Nemesis, even Mansions of Madness, which is a little bit of a quicker game, but if we need to kind of split it up into like two or three play sessions, uh, that's a type of game that we like to put in the table. Um, heck, even sometimes we play Star Wars Legion within the table, so that way um, we don't have to like take it all down. Um, it, it's not a super long game, but it takes you know still some time to kind of set up and figure out what you want to do. All right, so what I wanted to show here with the table is I have you know most of the leaves off. Um, there, I have two leaves down here at the end, which of course you can do like I have here. One thing to note though, is there's nothing, uh, there's, there's a spot here and here on this end piece that kind of holds it in the side to side and, and a little bit in the back. But other than that, there's not really anything to hold it, like going this direction. So if somebody's kind of like leaning on this, like it's very easy for this piece to kind of get moved around and someone like push here and shove it around and you're not really going to get like a lot of scratches i would say but um, it does kind of move the piece and make it a little unstable so really what they tell you to do is just take it all you know all off if you want to do that if you want to have something separate then you'd have to get like the uh, game deck or now they've renamed it to like the hobby shelf which has some other cool stuff, um, which um, I'll talk about here as we're going and uh, as I'm putting this back. So I'm going for my topper. Um, and you know, probably as you've seen, right, there's a regular side here and then the side with the seal on the other. And you're basically just putting that piece in. Yeah, I will say that these are relatively pretty heavy, you know, wood pieces. So, um, it might take somebody with some strength if you really can't do that. It might make it more difficult for you to use this um, table. So just keep that in mind. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm the strongest person in the world, but it does take some effort to do. Um, so anyway, back to the uh, hobby shelf. Uh, so really the main reason I got a hobby shelf, or, or not the, I'm sorry, not the hobby shelf, the, ge the game, um, oh, what is it called? It's, a, it's the, basically the equivalent of the game deck, but uh, for the, the new Kickstarter, 
And really when you're trying to do an RPG specifically and you're the GM, there's not a lot of room that you have uh, to kind of set up, you know, books and, and your uh, spots. So it seems like it'd be a pretty good thing to have. The, um, but otherwise, if you, you know, don't have it, you could theoretically get by it by having the end piece on here. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So this last piece here, um, also as another note, and this is uh, a potential downside to this here, is this piece right here. Let's see, if you just look a little close, this is a little bit of wobble, specifically in this one leaf here, doesn't fit completely flat. So it does warp up a little bit. Um, it doesn't bother me that much. And usually this isn't actually even the worst it's gotten. Like when it gets really cold, this thing warps up a lot more. It doesn't bother me uh, a ton, but it's just a thing to keep in mind. So I think in the newer uh, Kickstarter, they have the option for the rustic, which has like the multiple slats, which is supposed to prevent that more. So anyway, keep that in mind. So another thing I wanted to show is that the table leaves here don't sit hundred percent flat like there's a little bit of a lip between each of these pieces here um, it's very minor but if that's something that really bothers you then maybe that's not something that you'll like on this table uh, but I just wanted to note that that there is these little areas it doesn't seem like food or water or anything has gotten through there but it is a note I'd say the most valuable um, accessory is the cup holders, specifically the extra large cup holders. The, we do have the large ones, and of course we have the smaller ones. Um, and we significantly use the larger ones way more than we use the smaller ones because the small ones pretty much only fit like Coke cans, and like really small glasses and sometimes like stemware. Here is our topper block, which for me I'd say is also one of the most important accessories just because you need to put your table leaves somewhere when you're not using them. Um, so we have the topper block here. Now a thing to note is they are selling a uh, really, really expensive topper, which I really wanted until I saw the price. And then now I'm thinking maybe cardboard is fine. That's what we've been using for a while. And we use it just so that way the cats don't get in there and tear up the, uh, uh, the foam that's in there. But um, <laughs> that has done fine for a while. And that's actually just from the container that we got our our uh, uh, table in. So we just cut that and put that and that's uh, worked uh, pretty well for us. If you don't know, there is a coffee mug accessory, which isn't like a horrible thing I'd say, but it also like many of the Wormwood accessories are very expensive. I bought this coaster here from Ikea for, and I come in a four pack of like, I don't know, $8 or $6 or something. It was very cheap. And you'll see if you have the the big size cup holder, you take the metal part out, it fits per like perfectly in. And so then you can have your cup, you know, it's not gonna fall out. As long as you obviously don't like hit it from this side, then it, it you know, will pretty much stay in there. And, uh, and that's a way to kind of like get the mug thing without having to get a very specialized cup holder. Um, and that's what we've been doing with ours. All right, I want to talk about another upgrade that we did to our table that's outside the Wormwood campaign. So here is the uh, official felt that comes with the table. Uh, it's not bad, it's just uh, I didn't really like, like it's got the little hairs like most felt does. So sometimes your cards kind of get a little bit stuck to the felt um, because they kind of float. So some people like that. I personally did not really like that that much. And in here, I got one of the big Viking mat neoprene um, things, which is great. So it really helps being able to like grab cards because it's got that squish right to it. That's fantastic with uh, um, cards. So anyway, that is an upgrade that we paid for, which I think was like an extra hundred some dollars. I think, um, 
Wormwood is offering their own thing. I don't know about the quality of that, but personally, I really like the uh, new neoprene mat in there in comparison to the felt. All right, another thing I wanted to point out is that they talk about the um, the table being very like scratch resistant and stuff. We actually found that is not really the case. Like if you look here, these, these are very minor, but uh, I think this is just like a, a new game that we had that was just like on, um, I don't know if it was on like just the plastic or it just came out of the box and you have like one of the trays out, but just you can see that there is two little scratches here. There's, there's a ton of these little scratches that are kind of on different leaves of the table. I wouldn't say it's like massively uh, scratched up, but it is the thing to keep in mind that it is not super resistant to scratches. And I think there's some things you can do to kind of help out with that. But at least uh, for us, that's just kind of one little, little issue. All in all, I would say that I think we really do enjoy the table. It is actually a very beautiful table. The color seems like it's really held up. Um, and it functionally works, you know, very well as, as when it did eight months ago. Um, I'd say the price, especially for t the now, is even higher. So it makes it a little more difficult for probably a lot of people to get into. Um, but it is a fantastic table. So I'd say, especially if you are, you really are going to utilize that vault. You're going to play a lot of types of game, RPG games, or maybe puzzles, or other things that you think that you might want to leave out on your table, but not have it get messed with, or, um, you know, be able to have people come over and, you know, still be able to, like, cover that up, and then, you know, have people come over for dinner or something, and then, you know, go back, and then you can take these all off and continue where you were, and not have to break everything down, and you do that consistently, I would say definitely this table is a great buy, um, cup holders is an absolute must, especially if you're going to be using that, it just kind of helps utilize the space even better um, than if you didn't have them. Um, like I said, I personally changed the inside the felt to the neoprene. Um, and But otherwise, I think it's a fantastic table. I will say we got the, um, the counter height. Uh, we got the counter height uh, table and it does make finding chairs really difficult uh, because while it's not like an unheard of size dimension, there's just a lot less opportunity. So maybe we would have also gotten um, the standard height as well. So just kind of um, keep that in mind. But you know, if I was looking at all the options again, um, I do love the, the long full boards. I'm not really a fan of their rustic option, but considering the price of it, I might just eat the looks for still a functional table that looks still pretty good, um, maybe not perfect. Um, I'd say customer service that I dealt with so far, pretty good. Um, they damaged one of the rails here on the way in. Um, some of the leaves were uh, damaged and uh, we were able to get replacements for all of that, which was fantastic. It did take a while, so even in my video, build video, I got the, the replacements to build the table, but for like the leaves, which was more of a cosmetic um, aspect, it took like, I could think another two and a half months to actually get the leaves. So we did get them. It took longer than you know we kind of thought, and we could still put the other leaves on there. It just wasn't you know preferable, but it it was fine. Anyway, I hope that helps you decide if you want to back the new campaign or not. But this is uh, it for me. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one.